everybody. Welcome to This Week in Geek. I'm Jess, your host, and this show is where we talk about everything that's happening in TV, movies, gaming, tech, and everything else geeky. This week we're talking about the Google Stadia shutdown, huge Dungeons & Dragons news, and the new Black Panther. And stick around for the hot take where we're going to be talking about adult Happy Meals. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm not loving it. Google has announced it is shutting down Stadia and refunding all purchases, and this news comes only three years after launching. Now, I guess this came as a huge surprise to everyone, and Ubisoft has announced that they're going to try to port over your game progress to PCs as a solution, but that's just sort of the first step in trying to salvage what's going on here. There's also reportedly a player who has spent 6,000 hours in Red Dead Redemption who's trying to get his game progress ported over too. I can't imagine what that would be like spending almost a year's worth of time in a game just for Google to say, yeah, sorry, um, we're just going to be erasing everything in January, so good luck. A Horizon Zero Dawn remake is reportedly coming to PlayStation 5. This has not been confirmed by Sony, but there is also reportedly a multiplayer Horizon game coming out too. Now, some are calling it a remake, some are calling it a remaster, we don't exactly know what this is going to be since it hasn't been confirmed, but we do know that Netflix is working with Sony to create a live-action Horizon Zero Dawn series. So if it's following in the footsteps of The Last of Us Part 1, they're probably anticipating a huge fan base and wanting to make the game the most amazing it can be for all of those new folks who are going to come in and play the game. In Dungeons & Dragons news, the second Unearthed Arcana playtest material has been released. They're releasing all kinds of fun new stuff, one of the biggest ones being class groups. There's also all kinds of changes to spells and feats and natural ones, so if you want a more in-depth look at that, I do a series of shorts explaining and breaking down the new playtest materials over on our YouTube channel, Reckless Roleplay. The new movie coming from the director of Your Name is a romantic adventure about a young woman who falls in love with a talking chair. <laughs> the chair is not actually a chair, it's actually a hot guy who's looking for portal doors to another universe to save the world, and there's also an adorable evil cat. Go check out the trailer. House of Dragon spoilers ahead, you have been warned. Clark, what did we think of that surprisingly happy ending of Lenore rowing away from the scene of the crime? I've and loved it, but it wasn't that big of a surprise. No, I mean, it was you're like, like... Wait, why did they kill a random guy on the steps? He's the guy in the fire. Oh, uh, yeah. I was still surprised because I always expect Game of Thrones to do the worst thing possible. Oh, my God, you know what you're I mean? right. What do we think about even more uncle sex? <laughs> hey, the fans spoke. This Week in Geekers, you got what you wanted. And you got more <laughs> uncle sex in this week's episode, so I hope you're happy. <laughs> Ed Sheeran just released a new music video for his song Celestial that features Pokemon. Now, we know that Ed Sheeran is a huge Pokemon fan, and this music video is very cute if you haven't seen it. But am I the only one who thinks it's kind of weird that he starts out by having an imaginary breakfast with his imaginary... Pets? You can be an adult and love Pokemon, of course. We're not gonna geek shame anybody here, but just the image of him like pretending to eat food at an empty table, I was like, okay, it's a little too weird. I don't know anybody else, but Ed Sheeran doing it was just strange. A new trailer for Wakanda Forever just dropped and we're pretty sure Shuri is the new Black Panther. And I'm very excited if it is his sister because she's the one who like completely revamped his outfit and she's like the smartest Marvel character there is. So her becoming Black Panther, she's just gonna kick so much ass. There is something I'm not super stoked about though that I saw in the trailer. The little wings on the feet, Excuse on the Excuse me, ankle. that's Namor. Uh, Nam Namor? That's yeah. dumb. Hey, that's, that's from the dumb. comics. Why don't you calm Look, down? Look, I know he can breathe underwater and he can fly, but that's real dumb character design. There's more news about my favorite TV show, She-Hulk. There's the introduction of a new character, Mr. Immortal, who is from the Great Lakes Avengers, which I didn't know was a thing. But listen to the names of the Great Lakes Avengers. Dinosaur, Big Bertha, Flatman, and Doorman. And... They refused one candidate, a leather fetishist, calling himself Leather Boy. They refused the most interesting <laughs> one! Leather Boy? Like, what's his deal? 
<laughs> Welcome to the hot take, everybody. I have Davin here, and today we are going to be debating adult Happy Meals. Yes, this this is a thing. There are adult Happy Meals, and did you know about this? Uh, I heard whispers, but I've already made my decision, and I've not researched it. Okay. And I'm convinced of my rightness. America. The high-end fashion brand Cactus Plant Flea Market has collaborated with McDonald's to release Happy Meal boxes targeted for adults, and it's kind of like a subverted Happy Meal toy that's included, where they, they're giving the characters like four to six eyes, and they're also doing like a clothing collaboration. So Cactus Plant Flea Market is doing McDonald's sweatpants and t-shirts and hoodies, and they cost anywhere between 60 and hundreds of dollars. This so. all sounds like great news. All right. <laughs> that's the weakest one. Yeah, that's tickling your throat. <laughs> Adult Happy Meals is very dystopian. It's not a good thing. It's not cute. It's not cool. I'm sick of it. Mm -mm. My hot take, which is not hot, it's more obvious, sounds like a wonderful thing. Life sucks. Being an adult kind of sucks. Give me a Happy Meal. Give me a little treat. At the end of a hard day, go in the drive thru go, can I get a Happy Meal? And get a cool toy by a cool brand? Hook it up. What are the, <laughs> what is the food? Tell me that. I'm, I'm guessing a, a bigger burger and a bigger Burger fries, fries, a weird toy and a drink. Those are gonna be worth a lot too, you can collect them. That pisses me off, I'll tell you what. <laughs> They're gonna be collector's toys. Yeah, give it to me. This is just corporation uh, marketing idea schemes. For them. To, to make money and make people you into happy. <laughs> Spending your hard earned money on a piece of crap, on some plastic for why? Like, I don't want to shit on like collecting Funko Pops or whatever. Like, uh, that's there. that's your thing. I'm not going to shame that, but. But you literally. It's are McDonald's! Now. <laughs> it's McDonald's! You do not need a McDonald's Funko Pop! <laughs> nice dip. <laughs> <laughs> some of my favorite toys as a kid. Came from McDonald's Happy Meals. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Where's some other ones? Oh, I think I have your favorite toys you can't even re remember? Darkwing Duck. You shut up. Cut that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> cut that, cut that, cut that. Anyways, there's so many cool toys. It just kind of brings back some nostalgia for me. And if they like update it and make it cool, I'll put that shit on my window shield. Did you know? What? The McDonald's is poisoning you. Yes. Consume everything we put out in front of you. Okay, your argument is am I going to let some corporation Lead, trick me into being a consumer. My Can I check something real quick? My ears are On your iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! You're part of the problem. So you might as well enjoy the ride. How am I part? Because I have an iPhone? <laughs> yes. Slave labor right there. I mean, I have one too, but I'm not the one complaining about it. <laughs> this was made with slave labor probably. And it's awesome. If they put this in a Happy Meal, I would buy it. I mean... I would too, actually. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna go home tonight after we film this, and you're gonna be like, oh, man. And then you're gonna see the beautiful golden arches. And then you're gonna turn into the drive-thru. <laughs> and you're like, you know, I'm gonna try this. And you in particular, this is yours. You own this. You also own this. <laughs> so you're gonna get this little toy in your fucking Happy Meal, and you're gonna be like, this is actually kind of awesome. And then you're gonna put it on your mantle. Okay. Because you're an adult. I have one more with the hottest hot sauce, because I don't wanna lose this argument. I really don't wanna lose this I argument. I think it's too late for that, but proceed. No, I'm not gonna eat little red bugs next <laughs> week. No, so Oh, that's a good point. Everyone in the audience will agree that this adult Happy Meal is great. Yeah. Cut that. Cut that. Seriously. Repeat it. Repeat it. Adult Happy Meal is great. The last thing I'll say, yeah? Davin, McDonald's is capitalizing on the nostalgia of us. Millennials, elder millennials, young millennials, Gen Zers, Gen Millen, Gen Zs, whatever they're called. They are taking the last yeah. thing. Wait, yeah. wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Wait! Your mouth wait, is moving, and wait. then your mind is going, what should I say? Wait, At the same time, because you don't know what I'm saying. I have a saying. point! They're taking the last nostalgic thing we have, which is pre-technology. It is the 90s. It is the early aughts. It's before the internet and social media ruined everything. And it's giving take, it back to you. It's taking that tiny piece of nostalgia, and it is twisting it, and subverting it, and saying, buy our stuff. Buy our poisonous stuff. Buy our shitty plastic toys. I'll give you points for commitment, but like <laughs> that was your Trump thing. Like no, Trump. I have one more. It's a soul of sound and fury <laughs> signifying nothing. All of you just love to watch the world burn. Yeah, like my mouth.
Well, as long as I get paid for it. Excuse me. So one of the reasons you see Davin and I freak out on this hot take is because what happens every week is whoever the comments agree with, the other person has to eat raw liver or bugs. And that's why we want you to agree with me. Me. <laughs> first. So we're gonna go through the Nailed comments from last week, and Clark is gonna read out the most top voted comments in order. What was our hot take last week? Our hot take last week was zombies versus vampires. Oh, classic, classic argument: zombies versus vampires. I was team vampire. I was uh, big. team zombies. And mm -hmm. let's see who you all agreed with. All I right. think we know. Coming in first from Ilya. Lasani, zombies are always either tired or angry. They're expressionless, and there are not that many movies that show distinct characteristics of a zombie. Vampires, however, can differ from each other greatly and be unique. Take Call of the Night, for example, seeing a shy vampire was pretty interesting. Oh. So pick a card. What is I... it called? Black is liver, red is bugs. No, Black red is, is liver. Bugs, it's red always is liver. red is red meat. It's always liver. I already forgot what you just said. So <laughs> <laughs> you forget. Oh, bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, going to the next one from 343. <laughs> For vampires, there's the Legacy of Kane series. Vampire the Masquerade. Never heard of it. it sounds awesome. I have a and there are very few games more iconic than a seminal series of games based on a vampire. Game series so pivotal is gaming history that it's making up half the name of an entire genre, Castlevania. Ah. Well, it looks like that one is for Davin. Oh, God. No! <laughs> Wait, what is that, liver? Liver. <laughs> the next one is from on your left. As far oh, I love as, this fucking guy. As far as pop or culture girl. goes. Or him. Them. Zombies rule. If you, oh, you, if you 86 work. Buffy and interview with a vampire, then there's only a handful of vamp things worth Worthwhile. No, dude, you can't say like these are the awesome, but Some strike them from your argument. Are superior to any vamp movie sans Buffy. Um, okay, so on your left, we've come at it to an impasse in our relationship. What does that mean? Liver! Oh! I think we should come up with something else because it's like foul. It's so foul. This reminds me of. Don't do that. The leeches from Stand By Me. Oh! <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from Johnny Sykes, vampires for sure, those claws are insta-kills. Somebody yeah, yeah. has had to seen that Vampire vs. Zombies Deadliest Warrior episode. Good job, Johnny. Johnny Dason. Here's Johnny. Bugs? Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's funny how <laughs> degraded <laughs> and decrepit our souls are that we're saying, <laughs> thank God that we're eating <laughs> bugs. All right. I mean, I think in general... They agree with me more, right? <laughs> if we look back at all our history. Am I a genius? <laughs> I can't. I'm, a, right, I'm kind Conde. of like a thought leader of our time. Next one up. Sorry, Dov. Jess won this one. Zombies rule. Vampires okay, guess what? rule. It makes me feel special that you're uh, some stranger on the internet that says Dov and like, this is my nickname. I like going. Like, it's actually from Airsoft Girl, so. Oh! <laughs> I love Inside you. Inside job. But I thought it was like, God damn it. I didn't put her up to it. Yeah, right. She, she got the up vote, so. Yep. Liver me timbers. Ew, we picked a big one. Ew. What is wrong with you? You did another. another oh, I'm trying to gross you out, and it's grossing me out instead. <laughs> There's one from Kool-Aid. Our tall glass of water at Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah! He Can says, zombies river? are better. Stories set in the zombie apocalypse tend to focus on the human element, while vampire stories focus on them and their tragic life. Okay, I will <laughs> eat... Hold on. I will eat my whatever, but you're making my point because they can't focus <laughs> a movie on zombies because they're so dumb that they have to focus on something else. Thank you. And I will eat whatever this is proudly. It's actually good. Oh, <laughs> if we get 25 comments saying Clark, Clark, hey, hey, our hey. director, who's I'm, the biggest wimp in the world, I'm has cutting to come this. I'm and cutting eat this. liver. 
Just if we get 30 cut. comments that say, Matt, the cut. guy on the couch, you love him, you know him, he's in all your favorite episodes, he has to come and eat liver on camera. Just a little, like, behind the scenes. Every time Matt sets this up, he almost throws up just <laughs> looking at the liver. So it's going to be comedy. It's going to be fun. 30 separate comments. Can't be from the same people. No, 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 no. Separate comments separate from comments. users. <laughs> oh, man, I wish you guys don't cut this out because I'm so excited. Man. Let us know who you think won the argument of if adult Happy Meals are okay or not. And we'll see you next week for more geek news, hot takes, and... What do we call the book? Just segment. Gross things. Gross things. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by.